Listen, Harry t- Maguire is. I don't think he's been better this year. It's just that the expectations of Harry Maguire is so low right now that yeah. if he just does, if he just has a game here yeah, where he doesn't score an own goal, people say that he's played well. Like, like the bar is on the floor. Let's not get it twisted. The guy's rubbish and he hasn't even had a decent game for us, bro. He hasn't. Like, I've never watched a game and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like, he's bossing this. Like, most of the time he's had nothing re- really much to do. Like, it's everyone's overstating. Like, this resurgence of Harry Maguire. Like, this, nah, it's not no resurgence, bro. Do you know what I mean? We're just I'm, shit. I'm, I'm not, yeah. And we're desperate. I'm resurgence. I'm saying he improved what? You know, I'm, I'm not looking at him going, oh, what? You know, I, I think he, he has his qualities in certain just Again, like, if he plays for England, he kind of fits. Should he be going over some other players, in my opinion? No. But I understand why Gareth Southgate does what he does, apart from picking Jordan Henderson still and Calvin Phillips. I, mm. I, I think I've had more Premier League minutes than Calvin Phillips this year. You know, it's like, it's like, it's, 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 a, it's one of those where you just, and you go, okay, it's, um, but, um, oh, bro, even the England thing, yeah. Gareth Southgate plays a much deeper line. Do you know what I'm saying? So even yeah. when we talk about the England thing, it's like he's playing in a deep line where his lack of pace and lack of defensive positioning can't be exposed as much. He doesn't play better for England, yeah. He's just in a he's in a system that doesn't expose him as much. That's yeah. all it is. Like if Man United want yes, to play progressive saying, yeah. football, yeah, and want to play a high line. He can't play. We're even seeing that at Tottenham at the moment, yeah, with um, Eric Dyer. Posta Koglu's pretty much phased this guy out of the team and he's just like, literally, unless we have no one else, I'm not playing you. Like, because this is what it is. He doesn't suit modern football. Like, he looks good in relegation teams that park on the edge of their box and just head the ball away. Yeah. Like, well, that, that's when, literally that, all he can do. Yeah. To West Ham would have been perfect for him. He, 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 he would have been great for him because he, he's they're, they're not a relegation team. They're a decent side now. But David Moyes does play football. And you'd have had James Warhouse putting every single... It's, it's one where... Your Wi-Fi is jumping in and out, bro. Uh, shock horror. My Wi-Fi is fucking up again. Jesus Christ. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah... Uh, the same, yeah. The, 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 it would have been a good move for him, but look, irrespective, you are where you are. Um, I don't know what's been. I can't, I don't, I can't see it happening because I don't think there's anyone out there that fits the bill right now, mainly because when I say fits the bill, it's because the bill's not been made because Ratcliffe's mm. not in yet. As soon as Ratcliffe gets yeah, in, Ratcliffe's and not in wants. yet, but even the stuff right now is going on. Obviously, this manager's falling out with Iran, which is an absolute joke, yeah. And then the worst thing about the situation right now is that like somebody put out put out a list here yeah, on Twitter and it's true, yeah. When you look at all the players, yeah, that this manager's phasing out, it's all the players on the highest wages, bro. And it's not a coincidence, bro. Do you know what I mean? It can't be a coincidence. As much as I would love to believe, I would absolutely love to believe that what happens in the dressing room here yeah, is not influenced by what's going on above and vice versa yeah like it seems extremely weird to me funny how mason mount's trending i don't know why bruv do you know what i'm saying but it's it's crazy to me yeah that when you look at um let me find the list now i think it's cristiano ronaldo Jaden sancho rafael Varane, casemiro david de Gea were, were united's five top earners before rashford um signed a new deal and the managers forcing all these guys out the club like by accident, I don't know. Look, he's, I, unfortunately, I feel like Manchester United is in such a state where you're going to have to go through this bit here of serious pain before the mm. club can even come out the back end of it, and that'll mean sticking with the manager. Yeah, but we have to get rid of him. I'll be real like, we have to get rid of him. Like, this manager is poor is absolutely poor it's one of them things where he hasn't even shown us enough for us to stick with him it doesn't make no sense because like we're saying that he can't handle big name players but bro he brought in amrabat he brought in anthony he brought in mount these are not big name players and they've all been crap so 
As much as we want to talk about the managers can't handle, the manager can't handle anything. And the thing is, you have to be a special kind of dickhead to fall out with Rafael Varane, bro. Because this guy's a mute, bro. He don't even talk. Mm. How can you fall? How can you fall out with Varane? Varane looks like the guy that's just friends with everyone, bro. He's so like, he's so inoffensive, bro. Like, how can you fall out with Varane? Like, that's actually crazy. Now, I mean, there's some players that you can just tell. Like, they just come to work, do their job and go home. And he's one of them. Yeah, I get like, that. How do you fall out with a player like this? Like, you don't end up yeah. at Real Madrid, yeah, for the amount of time that he's at, yeah, if he's got, one, a bad attitude, two, if, like, he doesn't get on well with people, three, if he doesn't train well, and four, if he's not a good player. You do not spend that much time, yeah, at, at Real Madrid. The same goes for Casemiro. If you're not yeah. elite in mentality, and also in ability, like these things are just, yeah. they just don't happen. I agree with you. He played that quickly. With Varane, do you think it might could also potentially be a case of we've mentioned all those things he's made, but we've also remember, need to remember that he always injured. Don't get a case of yeah, but I hear the injury thing. But bro, to be honest, yeah, even even injured, he's better than Harry Maguire and Evans and Lindelof. Like, the injury things I'm not really trying to hear because the thing is, even with Varane, yeah, as much as he, he got injured quite a bit last season, I think he still played a decent amount of games. Like, started a decent amount of games as well. Yeah. Like, we've had Luke Shaw, yeah, who's been injured every single season, yeah, that he's been at Manchester United since we started him. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's still here. And he's still getting new deals. And he's still getting talked up. Like, like his prime is to come. And he's been past his best for a long, long time. So the whole injury stuff is actually mythical. Fair enough. I mean, I, I, the, what, what I was thinking was it was more of a case of maybe trying to wrap him in cotton wool. So when the rest of the... You, you got Luke Shaw coming back. You have him available. Brother, maybe it's a case of he's trying to bring all together. Wrap him in cotton wool for what? Like, it's not like he's, he's resting him against Luton and that. The guy didn't start him in a Manchester derby. He started Evans Maguire in a Manchester derby, bro. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's suicide. Yeah, I get that. That's fair enough. I, I mean, I, I I agree with what you're saying. I was just trying to play devil's advocate. I, I, I just think you, you lot are a mess. Even to the point where the stadium itself... Yeah. Or was it the, in the women's game a couple of days ago? Yeah, they, yeah, they was, said that some something fell off the ceiling, off the li, roof. Li, part yeah, of the yeah, stadium fell something. onto two people. Like that, that yeah. is bad. Like the stadium is falling apart. Like it, there's there are so many issues at Manchester United right now beyond the football. Like we were in a bad way last year. Like look, we were in a terrible way last year because we had no structure. Mm. Manchester United have no physical structure and no commercial structure. And no football structure. You, yeah, but bro, I think we do have the commercial structure. But bro, when we talk about um, the stadium and that, bro, our stadium's falling apart. And it's still better than yours. You got forty thousand. Do you know what I'm saying? So, mate, I'd me, rather have forty thousand a solid foundation than sixty nah, or nah, seventy nah, thousand nah, nah, fall apart. No, nah, you wouldn't because you can only sell forty thousand, bro. Like, oh no, it's nearly double yours, isn't it? So, oh no, it's one of them ones where I'll be real. Yeah, as much as our stadium's trash, it's better than yours, isn't it? So, oh no, it's, it's I'm, one I'm... of them things where what I'm saying is, yeah, <laughs> I'm not using that as an excuse. It's about what what's happening on the pitch because we're both playing in in shit stadiums, but. You won the Champions League a lot more recently than we did in your 40,000 seat or Legoland Stadium, bro. So if you look can do that there, I'm not trying to hear the structural stuff as an excuse as to why my manager can't manage players and why we can't win games convincingly. Why we can't play a cohesive but it's, 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 it's It's from the top down, mate. Everything comes from the top down. Any, any business. If the top of the business isn't working, the bottom of the business ain't going to work. It's, it's, it's that, that's just a fact. That is, that is, that is, that's not just football. That's just everything. You know, if, if the senior figures at the club or in the company don't know what the hell they're doing and it's not working, that is going to trickle down to everybody else. So the whole, the whole situation at, at Man United, just, just, there is so much going on. Obviously you've got Ratcliffe trying to take 25%. As soon as that's done, we'll see what happens. But you'll have Ratcliffe come in, 
You've got obviously the Glazers might be selling a portion of the club. You've got the, the stadium does need to be fixed, like it does, because we talk. You talk about the commercial stuff being put together. If the stadium's falling apart, people are going to stop coming, which means the commercial side of things. I, I don't think they will happen. stop coming because they're idiots. That's part of the problem. If they did stop coming to games and they started boycotting and walking out and stuff like that, I might actually have more faith in this club actually doing something. The problem is the flat. The fans are so blind with their loyalty that they're still going to turn up, bro, even though the place is an absolute dump. Like, they are. They're still going to turn mean, up. That's probably the one, the one side of the commercial thing with Man United is one person empties the seat, someone else is going to take it. Yep. So, I think it's... there's Look, there is so much going on that I wouldn't even know where to start. Now, I see this guy talking about Sir Alex, you know, worked on the same owners. Football's moved on in the past 10 years. It this football is not on, the same. But as much as it's moved on, like as much as people can talk about owners, if you've got a good manager, yeah, and they have been given money by these owners, yeah, they're going to win stuff, bro. Like they are going to win stuff. This idiot's won stuff, yeah, with the players that he, um, he inherited from the previous manager. Jose won stuff. Van Gaal won a trophy also. Like Moyes was our only full time manager to not win a trophy and also. No, and Solskjaer, but Moyes won the Community Shield. They count that, I don't count that. No. Solskjaer got to a European final and lost on penalties. So trophies can be won under this owner. Like I'm not, I'm not just simply going to put it down to, oh yeah, but things aren't run upstairs. And like, yeah, whatever, man. Like, do you know what I mean? Klopp don't get the players he wants most of the time. Man still wins trophies, bro, because he's a good coach, isn't it? Like, a lot but of then he had the structure around him. He had, a, he had a good director of football. Yeah, but the structure, yeah, even good the structure to work at with. Liverpool is iffy, bro. Like, so a lot of Liverpool fans don't like their owners and they don't like the structure at their club, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? They don't, innit? And then yeah, Klopp will come out and say that, yo, I don't get the players I want. We need this, we need that, whatever. These men had players like Oxley chamberlain and that there for ages. Klopp had to play Milner till he was like 38 or something like that because they wouldn't give him a replacement. So Klopp weren't getting everything he wanted as well, bro. Like Milner and Henderson were getting rinsed at Liverpool. Like, there was a point where I remember Liverpool had injuries. They were playing two midfielders at centre-back. They were playing Fabinho and someone else at centre-back. He wasn't allowed to go into the loan market like um, Ten Hag's been allowed to and go and get a left-back because Luke Shaw and Malasio are out. Like, bro, like, Klopp was not getting... He wasn't getting the backing that this manager has got, bro. He wasn't. No. Like, I, I'm not going to... I'm So, as much as... Liverpool are our rivals, yeah, bro. Like, Klopp's had worse conditions than Ten Hag. Klopp's had to sell to buy. 